What's up, what's up, YouTube, YouTube? It's the first 15, and I am running another experiment today with another Steam game called The Last Weekend. I just downloaded this sucker, so I have no idea what this is all about, but apparently it's like a choose-your-own-adventure. And so, apparently it's a relatively short game, so we're gonna just jump in and see what it's all about. Here we go. Apparently, Rita's saying, finally, this is the place. Anthony, you're a navigation genius. Says Rita, who can't even tell left from right. Alice, wait for me. Hurry up. Wait a second, my backpack is stuck. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Rita, our GPS doesn't show your hotel. We got lost. You're not the first guest to have that problem. You're here now. Come in. So I'm a bit confused. So they got lost and this girl Sophia is just letting them come in randomly? By the way, my name is Sophia. I own this hotel. Doesn't look like a hotel. Here are the keys to your rooms. As you booked it, boys get single rooms, the girls double. Okay. <laughs> oh, who do I want to be? This guy looks very muscly. Almost too muscly. <laughs> she looks like you're a... Uh... Your regular Southern Belle, and we got your uh, hipster over here. I'm gonna go with the hacker because he's kind of more like me. So let's click on this guy. Oh, a programmer. He likes everything about computers, loves conspiracy theories, and thinks he could probably outsmart the CIA because he's se read several spy novels. Dates Rita. Is this Rita? I forget. I forget which one's Rita. Uh, let's, this um, hipster over here, a journalist, inquisitive, bold, and able to protect herself. She only backs down from the fight when she knows she can return later to win. Hardcore. Everything she does is for her own benefit. Dates Paul. This uh, Southern Belle looking lady here, a model. She thinks the most important thing is how she looks. She is happy to spend half her day in front of the mirror to make sure she looks her best. Likes to put off her problems, dates Anthony. I'm assuming this guy's Anthony over here. The muscly dude. Gosh, his shirt is so tight. <laughs> his jeans are tight too. He is fond of sports, especially enjoys working out at the gym. He is proud of his body and physical strength. Tries to defeat an enemy in a fight, but will run away if the enemy turns out to be stronger. Dates Alice. I think we're going to go with the programmer. Let's choose Paul. Okay. Oh, so I guess I can click on stuff here. So what should I put here? My phone? Right, I'll put my things here. I have already have my things unpacked. I already have my things unpacked. I guess I click on the door next. Oh, okay. So I can click on several doors. What do you guys say? Oh, I should have remembered who got keys to what. I think this is where his girlfriend is. Number Door number two. Nope, wrong one. She's got her up. Her bikini out there. She's chilling. Let's talk with her. How do you like this hotel? It's cute, but I prefer normal hotels with individual bathrooms and room service. Or what are you going to do? Can't you see? Sunbathing, says Alice. Is that why you're wearing makeup? Sure, a girl should always be beautiful. Which bikini will you wear? can't choose one. Can you help me? My choice. Wear none. <laughs> I would like it. What a perv. What a perv. What is this game? What am I doing here? 
jerk. Well, it's time to go. Wait, will you ask Anthony to come here? I'll ask him which bikini I should wear. All right. Oh, that's my room. Room number three is my room. Let's go to room number four. Closed. Room number one is my girlfriend. How do you like the hotel? Very nice. Better than interpersonal chain hotels. What's wrong with chain hotels? Everybody smiles just to get tips. I don't, I don't think that's true. I go to, I fly every week. Everyone, at nice hotels, they treat you nice because they know that you're paying good money. What are you going to do? It doesn't look like she's going to be sunbathing because she doesn't care as much as Alice does about her appearance. I'm tired. I'm going to take a shower. Have you already seen the bathroom? Not yet. I can check. Yes, please. Check it out for me. Oh, nice. Here's the shower. Just in front of the door. It's perfect for peeking. What a cucce piante! What a perv, man! That ain't cool. Water is cold. Is it from the lake? Okay, let's leave. The lock is broken. Uh oh. We have to tell the owner. I guess I'll go downstairs and tell the owner. You know, the bathroom door won't close. Strange. Everything was all right this morning. I'll check the lock. So we can go in this room. Please don't go in there just yet. All in good time, young man. I can sense this, like, sexual innuendo uh, about this game, and it's creeping me out a little bit. Okay, we're going outside. We're going to talk with... Is this Paul? <laughs> I forget. What are your plans for having fun? I don't know about you, but I'm planning on have to have sex with Alice. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Was this game made by 13 year olds? You think that's gonna happen? Why not? She's crazy about me. Oh my gosh, I'm playing a Teenaged angst, sexual angst video game. What have I done? <laughs> Let's click on this bridge. I won't swim without my trunks. So I need to go back to my room and change. Okay, so let's go back into the room. Let's go back up the stairs into my room, room number three. Well, where am, where are my swimming trunks? Blammo! He's wearing real trunks. She's wearing a bikini. He's wearing, yes. Oh, it's raining. The dinner was quite, how do we, how do we sudden, okay. All right, the dinner was quite good. Yeah, not bad. Where are the other guests? Are these the only people here? This is getting pretty, pretty weird. Yeah, not bad, but big enough. We never stop eating, dot, dot, dot. I'd love to taste you, just the... <laughs> what is this? I'm sorry, guys. My computer might blow up, so we might actually lose all of this, so. I'd love to taste you just a lick. You have a gourmet taste. <laughs> uh, I wonder if the rain will stop by morning. I hope so. Sitting here is no good. Well, you can always lie down. Oh my gosh, Anthony, you're coming on so strong. You know, pump the brakes, bro. It's just, well, as, I, as well, I have my laptop with me. I can do some work. Good, good on you, Rita. Let's do some work. Oh, screw it. You should work at home, says Paul, as he gives her a uh, neck rub. You have to work everywhere to be successful. Ain't that the truth, Rita? You seem like the most rational person in this entire group of four. Sitting here is so boring, says Paul. What do you suggest? Let's play something. Okay, let's play something. 
Who wants what? Is that a game? Oh no, I'm fed up with playing that. Why? We already know everything about each other. Let's invite Sophia to join us then. Woohoo, the plot thickens. The plot thickens. Why do we need her? I think she's cool. Yes, let's invite her. Paul, would you go please ask her? Why me? It was your idea, so go. Okay, I will. All right, let's go find her. I think she's outside, and she is. The weather's awful today. I like rain. Why do you like it? It allows me to be sad. <laughs> we got our uh, emo goth girl here. We got our emo goth girl here. I don't get it. Why do you like to be sad? Most people try to avoid sadness. I like the feeling of sadness and I can only feel it when I look at the rain. I see you are an original. What? Doesn't get any more original than this. Would you like to join us for dinner? No. Why? I didn't plan to spend this week, this evening with other people. The weather's depressing and we're bored of each other's company. Will you come? Only if you insist. What can I do for you? I heard you are a programmer. Could you repair my computer? Is that not the most stereotypical thing to say? If I had a dime for every time someone said to me, Peter, you know computers. Can y'all help me? Man, I'd be a rich man. I would be a very rich man. Peter, you know computers. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I don't know, it won't turn on. Uh, okay, I'll have a look. Follow me. All right. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is a... I see what we're doing here. Can I move here? This is like some sort of game. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. <sighs> no, I can't. Yeah, I'm only one way. There you go. What? What a pity. I thought you were good at computers. Apparently not. What's up? She doesn't want to play. Because I failed at fixing your computer with her, apparently, her background that's of her in a scantily clad dress. Fantastic. This, this game is getting more and more awkward as we go. A triumph of a loser. That sucks. No chance. She's too stubborn. Maybe you said something wrong. He probably never spoke to her anyway. Hello, I did speak to her. Anthony. You're just like children. I'll go change her mind. I'll go with you. Rita, you seem to be the most rational person for sure in this group of four knuckleheads. We'll be back soon. Don't go anywhere. This is certainly getting more teenage angst type of... I don't know what's going on. They won't manage it. I wouldn't be so sure. Those two could cheat death hands down. Seems ominous. Cheat death hands down. I told you, they aren't coming. Look at this guy. Look at Paul. He's drank so much wine, he's just like, man, I'm just chilling, yo. And Anthony's like, look at his face. He's like, oh man, now that I know that you're kind of just chilling, I can take advantage of you. <laughs> I think I can hear footsteps. What is this? I need to change. I'll be right back. The girls were kind enough to invite me. I hope you don't mind, gentlemen. Of course not. Have a seat. So, let's play a game. Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Let's try. What supernatural being would you like to be? What a great question, Sophia. I would like the ability to teleport. 
Yes, because I travel every week and I would like to be able to not have to get on a plane. Great question, Sophia. I appreciate the question. Wonder Woman says Anthony. Of course you would, Anthony. Of course you would. A fairy. Ah, yes, a fairy. Of course you would, Alice. Maybe a muse, says Paul. I think it's a mermaid, says Rita. Hmm. No, it's not. I would like to be. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. I would like to be death. Okay, Sophia. Ha. Huh. This is probably the most disconcerted Anthony has looked all day. He's like, what? Well, let's raise our glasses. May our dreams come true. Let's see. I'm feeling weird that you want to be death. However, I'm going to ignore it and let's just raise our glasses and drink it away. Sure. Ooh, what's, oh, what's happening? Oh, she's dying! Anthony, you, you you poisoned her, dude! I know you did it! What happened? No pulse. She's dead. Holy. What do we do now? We need to call the police. Yes. Let's call. There's no signal. There should be. Call the police if you don't believe me. Anthony's right. There's no signal. Is there a landline? I saw, I think I saw a telephone somewhere, said Paul. Exactly, you go find it. Everything we find, don't worry. Yes, everything's awesome. I've always dreamed of having a weekend like this, says Anthony. Anthony, you seem to be making statements that makes it sound like you're the killer, bro. Don't be so obvious, man. Okay, so she's dead, so let's go find a phone. Go back to her room because I think there was a phone there. Yeah, phone. No dial tone. Let's see what we can. Oh. I hate these games. Oh, look at that! We got us. We got so lucky. It's working. Is this the police? We have an emergency. We're at the lake house. What? You mean you can't come? Wait, what? The road is washed out. You don't have any off-road vehicles? And what do we do with the body? Move it? Okay. That sounds like a terrible idea, Paul. These police are not real police. Why would you move the body? You're, you're, you're tampering with evidence. This game is so whack. It's like actually giving getting me somewhat frustrated. Put simply, we're screwed. Oh, look at Anthony, so so destitute. But you're the one who, we're, this, you said this was the best weekend ever, Anthony. Your behavior patterns are not being consistent. I've already called the police, they're not coming. Why on earth are they not coming? Because of the rain. Are you serious? If you don't believe me, you can call them yourself. The phone is in the owner's room. So what do we do now? They told me to move the body into a separate room and wait. What a terrible idea. Oh my gosh, you're not doing this, are you? This is a terrible idea. What are we going to do? What are we gonna do now? I'm gonna go to my room, I don't feel good in here. And you, Anthony? Feels, I wanna get wasted. Let's drink our sorrows away, Anthony. You are a real man. Me too. There's nothing good to drink, only wine. I've checked already. Probably not best to get drunk. There's some rationale, I'll take that. There's some reasoning. What if the police come after all? Yeah, I should just go to my room too. Alice, how are you holding up? She looks fine. I need some stress relief. I wanna take a hot bath. Mmm, I know exactly where this is going. Let's go to our rooms. I'm gonna go to sleep. What do you guys think? Think I should go to sleep? Probably fun stuff will happen if I go to sleep. Okay. 
All right, let's go on. Let's check out. Is this my girl? Is this my girlfriend's room? Nope. Paul, leave me alone, please. How can you take a bath after all of that? Why not? I don't get it. A person died. You act like nothing happened. Paul, stop it. Why can't I take a shower if someone's dead? Reasonable. You're heartless. I'm very sensitive. Okay, enough of this. Nice, I can look at her stuff. Let's talk to Rita. How are you, Rita? I'm okay. When I can, ma when I can manage not think about all of this. It's weird that the police still haven't come. I think it's normal. Typical situation for these remote areas. Oh, Rita, I didn't know you were such a connoisseur of, of empty remote cabins in the middle of nowhere. How do you know that? I wrote a few articles about rural policing before. Oh, really? You would, Rita. As an emo, you would write some of that stuff, I'm probably taking advantage of your philosophy degree. I don't feel good about this. Of course you don't. You don't see someone die every day. Actually, I have never seen anyone dead. Really? Yes, it's my first time today, and you? I've seen it before. I wrote an article about a morgue. Of course you would! Rita, you are goth as shit! You're a brave girl, I couldn't do that. You're a braver person than you realize. Okay. Let's go to... Ooh. Yeah, we're screwed. True, the weekend is obviously ruined. What do you think she died of? Hell knows. Maybe an allergy, or maybe someone poisoned her. Poisoned? Yes, poisoned. Poured poison in her glass. Very astute of you, Anthony. Very astute of you. Considering she drank, and then she started choking, and then she died. Your deductive reasoning, Anthony, is fantastic. Maybe some distant family member to take over a hotel. Wow. You guys were drinking that wine before she drank the wine. So you guys should have been died. You guys should have died too then. The continuity of this story is killing me. There's no one here except us. I always wondered about Rita. She never talks about her family. Yo. Why you dissing on my girl, yo? Seriously? Of course I'm not serious. Okay, time to go. All right, looks like we gotta go check some stuff out. Let's go talk with her. Paul, oh, leave me alone, please. How can you take a bath after all that? Why did you think she talked about death before she died? I don't wanna know, just leave me alone. I just wanna take a bath. Aren't you curious? Absolutely not. Paul, please leave me alone. I need to choose a bathrobe. Oh. Well, Anthony's looking uh, pretty depressed and demoralized. Yeah, we're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend is obviously ruined. Yeah, it's because someone died. What do you think she died of? Hell no, it's maybe an allergy or maybe someone poisoned her. Oh. Anthony, your deductive reason is, reasoning is outstanding. Let's see, she took a glass of wine, she drank it, and then she freaking died. Pretty smart. Poisoned? You look surprised, Paul. Poured, poured poison in her glass. Who? Maybe some distant family member to take over her hotel. That doesn't make any sense, sense Anthony. Y'all drank wine before you gave it to her, which means y'all would have died as well. Yes, Paul, that's very good. And there's no one here except us. I always wondered about Rita. She never talks about her family. Seriously? What? You dissing on my girlfriend, yo? Of course I'm not serious. <laughs> All right, time to go. Closed. Huh. Let's 
go downstairs. Let's go back in her room. Oh, what's this? I didn't see that before. What is it? I was gonna take a bath. Paul found a note in her hand. Read it. Come on. Bring me my favorite painting. Otherwise, you will all die here. Don't try to escape. If you you will die if you do. It's a very stupid joke. Paul, why did you do such a joke? What? I really did find the note. You don't believe me? I don't. I don't. Enough talking. I just want to take a bath. Very focused, Alice. Very focused. You're a one-track-minded girl. I can, I can respect that. You just want to take a bath. You know I hate practical jokes. So what? I would never prank anyone. Especially like that. Rita, I think he's telling the truth. What if there's a maniac among us? He killed the owner. It's getting worse. Now tell me about the alien invasion. Rita, you would say that because if I remember from your bio, you are a conspiracy theorist. I'm going to find the safest place in the hotel. Where is it? I'm not going to tell. You might be a maniac. Screw you. I'm going to check the car, says Anthony. I want to be ready to leave immediately if something happens. Maybe like disconnect the ability for the car to drive. Anthony, I'm on to you, bro. Can I take a bath already? Alice. So on track minded. I love it. Well, should we go check out the bath? What do you guys think? Should we go check out the bath? Let's do it. Oh, I thought she was gonna be in there. Nothing to do here. Go into the kitchen. We should hold fort in the kitchen. Okay, let's check the oven. We should turn the gas off just in case. Good idea. Click on the fridge. So much food! Anything I can click? Nope. There's supplies here enough for a week. Ah, we have water, we can stay for a while. Anything else to click on? All right. We should lock the door now. We just need to find the key. Whoa, Paul, I need your help. Where'd you come from? First you give up on me, now you need me. I'm sorry I lost my temper. This place is freaking me out. What's wrong? My... You're an engineer. Can you help me fix my computer? Let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh. My computer... My computer is locked up. We check it out for me. Is this going to be one of, another one of those games? Please, no! Easy. You're a genius. Well, that escalated really quickly. Please. Oh. Now we're at the bath scene. Uh, hey, are you kidding me? Who's there? Hey, you're supposed to be dead, yo. Death. How did you come in here? I told you. Don't touch me, you should be dead. I warned you. What's happening? Oh my gosh, she's taking her to the house. Look at that. Did you hear that? Alice is screaming! What happened? It's unlocked. All right, looks like we got some things to talk about. Maybe she just drowned. Yes, I doubt it. Screaming for help. What are we going to do? 
We need to leave. Maybe we better wait for the police? Rita is right. We need to protect ourselves. I suggest we lock ourselves in the kitchen. Do what you want. I'm leaving. Okay. Well, he wants us to go to the kitchen, so that's where we're going to go. We need to find the keys and lock the door. Oh, we can click on all these things now. All right, here we go. Maybe another drawer. Key not here. The hammer nails might be useful. Yes, let's grab those because you never know when you might need to hammer something. Key not here. Knives! Useful for self-defense. Okay, so we got hammer in here. Maybe Rita can help. All right, let's go find Rita. What's Anthony doing? That is a Volvo. With Japanese license plates. Let's go find Rita. Help me, Rita. Rita, can you help me? It depends on what you want. I know what you want. I can't find the key from the kitchen door. Can you help me find it? Okay, I will. Where are those keys? How did you find them so fast, Rita? I knew where they were. Where? At the reception desk. I always thought you were the smartest of them all, Rita. I always thought that. Great, everything works. Okay, let's go back up and see Rita then, I guess. So Alice is dead, Sophia's dead. Oh, just let's just chill. We're chill, we're Netflix and chilling right now. Someone just died and you just get back on Facebook, uh, don't you, Rita? Just need to tweet it out and Facebook it out. Someone done died! Did Anthony leave in the end? He might have gotten stuck somewhere in the woods. Don't tell me we're getting back to this now. Paul, can you hear it? No, what is it? Sounds like a car approaching. Ah oh, yes, Anthony's back in his Volvo. Let's go meet him. Why doesn't he get out of the car? Because there's blood there. Anthony is dead. I'm calling it. Anthony is dead. He's chugoed, man. Of course. Anthony, Anthony, what's wrong with you? Are you alive? What happened? Rita. Anthony's not breathing, he's dead. Huh, well, let's... This is bullshit. That's right, we have to do something. Maybe we should call the police again? There's no point. They will just tell us to wait again. What do you think? We need to escape. Anthony tried already in the car, but he came back dead. We need to try another way. You mean walking? Why, there's a motorboat. Do you know how to run it? It's not hard. I'm a scientist, bitch! I'm going. Your choice. Do you remember the note? We need. The note said that she needs a favorite painting. Well, the one we found in Sophia's hand. She wanted us to find a painting. I don't know. What's the point? I don't know either, but if, what if it helps? I doubt it. What do we have to lose? Time. We should decide. You should decide. We're looking for the painting or we're taking the boat and leaving. Let's find the painting. I think that's a good idea. Are any of these paintings clickable? Have I fixed this computer before? Shouldn't touch the body. All right, let's go find this painting. Find the painting. The painting is clearly missing here. Dude. I'm clicking around, bro. This music is pretty scary. I'm just gonna hold the fort. Don't even try. 
I'm ready to defend myself. Hey! Sophia, you changed! You're looking great! That's what I would say. I warned you, I asked, and you, it's your own fault. Damn, yo, she's taking him to house! gosh well guys that's my uh, complete playthrough of the last weekend I'm wondering if there's other choose your own adventures we could have gotten on the boat so if you guys want to check that out you guys can go through this entire story yourself and instead of going and finding the painting you can go and find go on the boat instead and see if there's a different ending uh, but that's it guys, uh, I had fun doing this, uh, I had fun voicing over it as I went through it, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Here's my review of the last weekend. Is it a roll need, roll greed, or pass? It's a roll greed. If you like these types of games, this is the first time I've ever played a game like this, other than reading the Choose Your Own Adventures back in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, but uh, this is a game that's not really for me, but I enjoyed it no nonetheless. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have other suggestions, other games you want me to check out, feel free to leave a uh, comment, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.